CC, Pacer family. Uh, I don't know where someone starts um, or ends to speak about someone uh, who was as influential on their life as Mel Daniels. Um, Mel was my first uh, encounter in Indiana uh, for my draft workout. Uh, and I'll never forget our first lunch together and just wondering who is this man that is carrying the conversation, so boisterous, uh, who literally just broke my hand uh, and just commanding the room. And uh, one of my first funny stories of Mel is when, the day I got drafted by the Pacers, um, I warned my dad, my dad uh, has this big uh, college graduation ring that I've seen him over his life say, oh man, that guy shook my hand really hard and hurt me. And I said, dad, hey, um, I said, there's this guy named Mel Daniels. Uh, I've never had anybody shake my hand like that and just you know, be, be aware when he comes in there, move your ring so he doesn't break your hand. So uh, I'm talking to Donnie, Larry, uh, Rick Carlisle, and uh, all of a sudden behind me, and the only time I ever heard this in my life, I hear my dad scream. And I turn around and my dad is on one knee and Mel has his hand in his hand. And uh, he caught my dad in the perfect moment with that ring and literally crushed his hand. But uh, to think that that's the first couple moments that I shared with Mel Daniels. Uh, and then there's just so many more over the course of our time together in Indiana, uh, traveling together, playing poker for countless hundreds of hours, talking about uh, other other players and how I could improve and how we can improve and what to invest in and uh, just a great mentor and a great friend and very missed and very loved and just very fortunate to have had him in my life. Thank you, Mel. Mel Daniels was the best center in the history of the Indiana Pacers and, and the ABA, I believe. And he didn't get a chance to really play in the uh, NBA or he had been up there in that too. But when we were going to draft Rick Schmitz, Mel and I took him out to lunch just to get acquainted with him. And as we were sitting there, Mel said something about him being a center for the Pacers. And Rick's comment, we looked, Rick looked over at him and went, kind of small, aren't you? <laughs> And Mel got so upset with that, he didn't show it, but he did. And I was just laughing because, of course, Rick was seven feet four and Mel was about six feet nine or ten. And so he was a lot bigger than him. Uh, but Mel's reaction to that kind of thing, you could just see it crushed him. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dorothy. I'm the sister of Charles Jordan. Charles played for the Indiana Pacers in 1975. He was drafted in the sec second round in the draft that year. I had the distinct honor to, to send a tribute to Mel Daniels. And what an honor it is. Mel ranks so high in, in my heart and my everything that I can think that's good and inspirational. Mel ranks there. In the picture that's you see before this video, this is a picture taken of Mel and Darnell Hillman. They went to visit Charles at the nursing home in 2014. At that time, Mel got a chance to see just how bad Charlie's health had declined and it saddened him. He called me two days afterwards and told me it brought tears to his eyes to see just how sad and how bad Charlie's health had declined. He didn't realize he was doing so bad. And it, it hurt him. He asked me what was it that Charlie needed. I says, well, he needed clothes. And he says, we can make that happen. So he says, I'm gonna send you information on an event coming up. It's called the Dropping Dimes Foundation event. I want you to bring Charlie to that event because there will be donations taken up for him so that he's able to get clothes and purchase clothes and uh, have things to wear. He gave me a call and told me to bring Charles to a big and style store on East 62nd Street, in which I did. And getting there, Charlie sees Mel and he says, oh man, Mel, you're here, you're here. And he was happy. Mel says, yep, we're gonna shop for you some clothes today. 
Charles says some clothes. Oh man, he says, I need a soup so I can go to church and meet a girlfriend. Mel looked at me and he started laughing. I says, I told you. He says, well, you need a suit so you can look good every day, just not for church for a girlfriend. Charlie says, okay, okay. So Mel set out, he picked out a suit. He made sure the tailoring and, and sizing on the suit would be perfect. Uh, the, the arm part wasn't low enough and down far enough to his hand, so he made sure that was measured right. He picked out underwear, he picked out socks, shoes, he picked out pants, warm-ups, <clears throat> anything, belts, anything you can imagine. At checkout, he says, he don't have any pajamas, he needs pajamas. I says, pajamas? So I went back and started looking around for pajamas. I didn't see any, any solid colors or checker colors. Mel walks up behind me, he says, What's wrong with these? I says, what? I says, those are Marvel Comics. He says, what's wrong with Marvel Comics? And I started laughing. I says, you want Charlie to wear it? He says, yes, yeah, sisters. He says, Mar Marvel to Comics has power. Charlie needs power. And power it was. Because whenever Charlie wore them, they brought a smile to his face. And he remembered that Mel had picked those for him. And it made him laugh. So that lasting impression and love that Mel left for Charlie left him with a full heart where he was greatly, greatly always remembering those Marvel comic pajamas that Mel had picked up. Mel Daniels. Mel came up to Persian High School where we both went to the same high school and was teaching me when I was in high school about uh, shooting a nice little soft hook around the basket, and I would always say to Mel, why, if I'm that close, why shouldn't I just dunk it? And he said, because you're going up to the big league, son, and you have to be prepared. So when I get into the big league and we were playing against each other, the first thing I tried to do was dunk on him, and he blocked my shot, and I fell down. Netter Lucky sitting on, standing up over me laughing, Darnell Hillman laughing, pretty Everybody was like, Roger, I was like, what's so funny? He said, I th Mel told you in high school to be cool with that Duncan mess. Hey, peace out.